all right so let's get into this lightroom tutorial here we have the raw image and the edited one over here so the only adjustments already done and we'll go through them all is the curves here so we've already got some curves adjusted so if i hit reset you can see there's a little bit of a weird purple cast to the image We've got to improve the framing and all that of the shot so we're going to go start to finish of this edit try i'm going to teach you how to recreate this one over here on the left through understanding lightroom pretty in depth understanding color understanding the curves which is all necessary if you want to get to an advanced level of editing the actual why behind your adjustments not just playing around actually knowing how these tools influence each other you need to be able to edit with intention and the only way you can edit with intent is by understanding the tools say how they interact with each other color theory in depth not just understand color theory but understand color theory how it works within Lightroom and through understanding this we're gonna be able to recreate other photographers work we have the raw image let's get into it okay so the curves well, it looks like without the curves let's go over the curves s curve adds nice contrast into your image this is a very steep one points are very down and to the left and then the highlights are very very up even in the mids it is lifted so this is going to add in a lot of contrast into the image and as you can see there is more green in the mids there is more cyan in the highlights as you can see cyan up here and then as for the shadows touch more blue so you don't see much blue in the blacks but there is there's not too many blacks there a bit more green in the mids so maybe like here you can see that's quite green it's kind of cyan i think the lion's chest here it has a little bit of green to it so it's most likely from this cyan in the highlights can definitely see that good fade to the blacks and this curve i'm actually going to do a bit more to it so i'm going to bring down the highlights you can see how much like a a shine a matte this image has and people get really stumped shine the matte the gloss an image has um, this is how you can help to get it is by working with this curve especially dropping those highlights so it will help you cap off those brightnesses okay so we need to move on with the rest of the edit where do you start i'm gonna up the shadows um, that looks a lot more like his highlights down to flatten the contrast i'm really looking at his image going okay that needs to come down this contrast down so i've been using audio for all my music for my videos they have a great selection of songs that will always fit your needs and i've been using them for over two years now to get the perfect mood and style to my videos i think audio has almost the best music out there and i've been using them as my sole place to get music for my videos what i like about audio is every time i've been able to find a song that fits the video i'm trying to create so you want to get high quality audio but also audio that perfectly fits your video and the vibe you want and if you want to try audio there's a link down in the description you can come down and click it overall exposure down uh, i'm gonna warm it up because like i said we had like this we have a slight purple cast to the image warm it up but we're gonna counteract a lot of this warmth with uh, split toning so we will do that very shortly uh, as for texture very sharp looking crispy images so we will bring up clarity vibrance his colors really pop saturation blacks and the whites for the the punch but also luminance is gonna luminance also affects your brightness so say yellow there's a lot of yellows in this and i bring that up aquas not many aquas in this blues not many i'm gonna deepen the oranges i also like how that makes the subjects stand out from the background okay so real quickly we'll come up to hues like these lines are obviously when you see this image on the right they look very red so yellows are gonna come this way a lot now we will do split toning so we're gonna cool off all the tools are interlinked affecting each other the colors and the curves colors in the hsl colors and split toning they all interlink so you have to understand all all of that orange is going to pull way back actually the yellows can be very yeah no not many greens not many aquas not many blues to saturation 
Probably just want these oranges to pop. They will get cooled off very shortly in split turning. Not many blues, blues, greens, not many. Okay, so let's get to the main part of this image. I'd say the main thing is curves. Like I've done over 250 Lightroom tutorials. I have over 200 videos in my course. Every image has curves, good curve adjustments. They play a really, really, really important role. I'd say in just about every image I've ever seen. So quite simply, curves are the most important thing. Yeah, otherwise this tool, the split turning is gonna play a big role in this image as well. But yeah, I think a lot of people underestimate curves or they stay away from the curves. They don't like the curves, they find them confusing, but I'm telling you, you need to understand them. Okay, so that added that blue off. Like we definitely had too much warmth, but we're counteracting that warmth we put. So we'll also come to highlights and we're gonna do something very similar with Tim. And we get those strong teals that you see there. And the blending is all the way to the hunt to 100. So you're just favoring, say in this case, we're favoring the shadow adjustment, which is just more intensity of the blue tone we chose um for sharpening he does have a pretty crisp looking image so we're just gonna go about there down to vignetting so vignetting comes down to the composition of your edit a lot of the time we want to center in on the middle subject so we're gonna do just a subtle one something like that back up top i just want to reduce the uh, texture texture it's kind of just a blur where clarity will affect your contrast as well okay so i would say if his colors had a color palette that would be like the orange and teal sort of sort of edit down here if you just go a little bit if you just move the primary across a bit it will add in a lot of um teals and it's also my favorite way to get browns if you want browns in your image browns can be hard to get red and orange is close to brown go that way and i think that kind of gets us to our edit a few more blues in the highlights so i'm just going to come highlights here just think a little just we need just more of this blue tone up here and then it will if you know color theory it will take out the tone of the lines a little from looking so red yeah and i'm pretty happy with that uh, i don't think we need any grain because iso 4000 you can see it's got a little bit of texture to it already i'm pretty happy with that one uh, go give him a follow down in the description so if you want to know how i know to make these adjustments in lightroom how to do it for yourself look at an image and then recreate the style understand the curves really well understand color really well and you don't want to feel like you're guessing in lightroom that's exactly what i've done in the course so you will learn color in depth you'll learn the tools in depth we focus on the why behind your adjustments to get the style you want so we focus on the science of lightroom rather than moving moving tools around randomly and just seeing what you like. We get down into the rules of color. Why does this look good? Why make these adjustments? Why are we doing this in the curves? So there's over 200 lessons now and we have over a hundred guest editors, talented photographers teaching, taking you start to finish with the preset raw image and the lesson. And then I'm there teaching you the in-depth reasons of your adjustments so you can get to the style you want cohesive feed professional edits that don't look amateur getting the most out of your gear and doing it in a really streamlined systematized approach going lesson by lesson and then there'll be no gaps left in your knowledge when you complete this course and it's a forever growing course we're getting so many more guest editors really really talented guest editors like i'm super stoked to have these people these are photographers that i i just incredible edits um that i really don't think i could recreate some of their edits but they teach within the course raw image preset taking you through step by step so there's a lot of transparency this is how i actually got really good at editing getting these raw files from the photographers to do these tutorials this is the best way to learn the way i learned so i'm recreating the way i learned in the course 
getting you the raw image preset different styles when you see your wide range of styles it really helps you learn quickly because you can see the patterns and you can see what's important and not important or particular styles comment down below who you guys want to see on this channel give him a follow his links are down in the description and i'll catch you in the next one